Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today we are going to do a care guide on the Ocellaris clownfish. Ocellaris clownfish, or commonly known as common clownfish or tank raised clownfish, are probably one of the most iconic fish of all time. We all know them from the classic Disney film Finding Nemo. These fish come from the Indo West Pacific but are normally all tank raised these days. This is what you'll find referred to as a tank raised clown in your local fish store. There are many different species of clownfish, but for today we are concentrating on the A. Ocellaris, although the care guide will be suitable for most clownfish. Now, you can see in the footage that I have an orange clownfish and a black clownfish, these two fish are exactly the same, it's just selective breeding that creates these alternative colours and patterns. Although you do get black oscillatus clownfish in the wild, as anyone who watches Coralfish 12G, you will know he has a pair of snowflake clownfish, which again are just oscillatus clownfish, just a different colour and a different pattern. The requirements, I would describe these as the neon tetra or beta of the saltwater world. Very hardy, great colour and just great fun fish to have. Because these clownfish have been bred in captivity for many years now, they've become a lot more accustomed to life in a fish tank and being around a lot of other fish. They're very forgiven if you mess up your salinity slightly or when nitrates or ammonia spikes happen. Now I always keep my salinity at around 1.25, but the clowns can range from about 1.018 to 1.026. Just make sure you add acclimate any new clown properly, even if the shop has a similar salinity to you. So in terms of tank size and setup, clowns grow to about 11 centimetres but can live for around 15 years and in my experience can grow pretty slowly. I'm currently growing mines out in a 25 litre tank while I organise my 130 litre nano. I would recommend at least 75 litres if you want to keep a pair or maybe you'll get away with 50-60 litres for a single one. Now, a lot of people don't realise that clownfish will find an area in a tank and just stick to it, but providing a coral like some kind of leather toadstool, hammer or torch or an enemy will make a better place for them to hang out than the filter or the heater. Now, you don't actually need to provide your clown with an enemy, but it will be beneficial and you will get a lot more wild and natural behaviours and gives them an area to potentially breed. Mines, however, enjoy this leather toadstool and will stay in the coral and curl up at night as you can see here. I find the clowns are very good at cleaning corals, picking bits of food out and taking flaking bits of skin off. Clowns seem to create this symbiotic relationship with any sort of coral or an enemy that they host. Tank raised clowns don't actually require too much of a heavy flow. You'll actually find a lot of tank raised clowns will struggle when they come from a local fish store into your tank as the local fish stores tend to have much calmer waters and that's probably what they've been raised in their whole life. If you already have corals and other fish in the tank, you might want to lower the flow a little bit just to give the clown a little bit of time to adjust. But if you are just housing a couple of clowns, the filter outlet might just be enough of a flow. They do naturally come from calmer parts of coastal oceans and small lagoons. In terms of feeding, in my experience, they'll eat absolutely anything you offer. Smaller clowns will struggle with larger bits of food and will give up on them and spit them on the ground. And clowns don't tend to pick food off of the ground, so it's good to have a little bit of a cleanup crew if you can. Mines especially enjoy lobster eggs, mysa shrimp and live copepods. pods. They have also taken really well to pellet foods. Again, like all fish, a varied and nutritious diet will keep the colours bright and the fish healthy. Another interesting fact when it comes to breeding is that all clownfish are actually born male and the more dominant and larger members of the group or the pair will become female. So it's important when getting a pair you keep a larger one and a smaller one. As you can see with mines, the black clownfish is clearly the larger one and is female. So the less dominant male knows its role. This stops aggression as two clowns round about the same size will result in too much aggression and one being seriously injured or worse killed. They're very easy to breed, they'll absolutely breed anywhere on a rock, a coral and an enemy. Just give them a nice safe spot and have a good confident pair and you'll get babies in no time. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any other questions about a clownfish just let me know. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks again and see you in the next one.